All right, so this is a, uh, another proof of concept demo uh, for the accelerating and decelerating uh, transitions for wipe and wipe in. Um, these are spark tip versions, so I had some questions on yesterday's video, um, and I actually messed around, and I got the spark tip version working. So you'll have the regular wipe, wipe in with acceleration or deceleration, um, and then the spark tip version. Um, so, and then the other questions were about how it actually works. So. Um, I've set it up on a couple different fonts using just wavelength for both ignition and retraction. So it's going to time itself automatically to the uh, out or the in sound um, with the spark tip. And then the variation is going to be uh, the bend value, which is a value within the uh, transition that tells it uh, essentially where to either begin accelerating or decelerating or how to um, map that. So um, I'll just run through a few of them. And you can mix and match. So there are separate transitions. It's a transition for ignition, a transition for retraction. You can have it do the slow beginning and then accelerate to the end. You can have uh, for the ignition, and then you can have it do a fast uh, beginning and a slow ending for retraction, vice versa. Um, they're completely independent. You can set them as you want. So I've mixed and matched everything. And again, all of these now are going to be timed just using the wavelength. So whatever uh, the ignition or retraction sound is, it's automatically going to time itself out to that. And again, you, you, it's an option. You can time it to the wavelength. You can set a fixed time. You can do whatever you want with these. So that one obviously was set to be a very quick ignition um, that then decelerates. So it, because of that, it jumped to the end. And now the retraction, I inversed it. So the traction, retraction is going to be a slow beginning, and then it's going to quickly finish. So, and again, these are timed based on the actual wave file that plays. So that's kind of using the two in, in, with different things. This is a different font, so it's got different lengths for ignition or traction. Plus, I changed the bend values, so they'll be a little different. So that one began slow and then speeds up. And then that the retraction was a fast and then slow down. So, and again, they're all timed to wavelength. And then this is just another variation. And it's going to be totally set. So you can set the bend value to whatever you want, and it'll change how far, uh, how much it accelerates, how much it decelerates, etc. Um, and the range on these is it's basically using the 32768. Um, anything from uh, 1 to 32768 goes uh, decelerates. Anything above 32768 accelerates. Um, so a huge range of options for how you're going to use it. So that's a much longer ignition with a uh, slower beginning. And then that one started out slow and retracts. So that one started a little quicker and then slows down, but the bend was set as a uh, less, um, as a smaller number so that it's not as much of a difference. And then that one obviously starts really slow and then accelerates. And then the retraction is a really fast and then a slow down. And again, the values are going to be set for the timing as well as the bend value that you want. So you can get a whole lot of different variations out of it. And I think this was the last of them. Yeah, so that one has a quick to slow and then a slow to quick. So just a lot of variation that you can do, and again, you're going to have the ability to do the spark tip version or do the regular ignition and retraction. Um, and these are all just set up as simple demos, so uh, I know the questions always come. The spark can be whatever color you want. Obviously, the blade style will be whatever you want. You can set it to do wavelength as the timing. You can set them to be whatever milliseconds you want, and you can change the bend value. So um, you're going to have the, the amount of variation possible is, is pretty much going to be up to every user. Um, but so it's all working pretty well. Um, just a little more testing, but uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, it'll be it'll be in an update. So it's not something that comes right away because it'll be probably in OS 7 when uh, that's ready to go. Um, but I do have it working pretty well, just putting the finishing touches on it and uh, lots more to come. So hope you enjoy.